Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be cleaning and getting the house ready for Christmas decorations. I really needed to make some space for our Christmas tree. As you can tell, everything was all over the place. Um, I also needed to kind of declutter a little bit. So I will be doing that in this video. And another thing you guys will notice that I change outfits like three or four times throughout this video. And it's because I had every intention on actually putting up my Christmas decorations in this video. So I started cleaning at like three in the afternoon and I had to clean around Sebastian's schedule. So I did have to put him down for naps. I had to um, stop and feed him, stop and do his nighttime routine, give him a bath and things like that. And for some reason, I always managed to get myself dirty with something. Um, so yeah, that explains all of the outfit changes in this video. Um, the clean did run into the evening about 10 p.m. at night so I did run out of time to put the Christmas decorations but that video will be coming up next so definitely stay tuned so as you're seeing in the video I started off by dusting I dusted all of the blinds and then I went in and dusted this plant dust really accumulates in faux plants I don't know if you guys have these but let me know if you have the same problem So now I'm just going to start uh, picking everything up. I started by getting a trash bag. The puppies tore into a few of their new toys. They just got their bark box, so they like taking out all the stuffing. And then this is something that I recently did. Do you guys remember this ottoman with storage? I used to keep my seasonal items in here, but I actually don't have a beauty room anymore. So this ottoman has kind of been like floating around and you will notice that we don't have that glass coffee table anymore. Sebastian is crawling and he's uh, climbing up on furniture. So I was terrified that he was gonna hurt himself with it. So we put that table away temporarily, at least until he can um, balance himself a lot better. And we're using this ottoman to store all of his toys. And it also serves as a coffee table at the same time. It's awesome. It just condense all of our storage. The puppies do have their own basket and I decided to go through it and declutter their toys because they have way too many toys. Some of them, oh, that's my Tangled teaser, by the way. I have no idea what it was doing in their toy basket and they're really, really spoiled as you guys can tell. Um, but some of the toys are kind of like defluffed and some of them are just missing pieces. So I went ahead and threw those away. I also went ahead and washed the little area rug that um, Sebastian's bouncer is on. I like to wash that and the blankets a couple times a month. And then I use Sebastian's old toy bin to hold our, our faux plant because the little plant holder that we bought a long time ago, um, it kind of, it's too skinny. So the plant tends to tip over and it's much more secure in this basket. And I think it looks really cute. Um, and then I went ahead and vacuumed all the furniture um, because we have this tufted furniture, a lot of crumbs tend to accumulate on the sofa, which I have no idea where the crumbs come from because we don't really eat on the couch. You wait to see if it's worth your while. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me breathe. So next I went ahead and cleared off everything that was on the floor because this is where we're gonna put the Christmas tree. So I wanted to make sure to deep clean the floors and just make sure that we got everything super clean. And I started by cleaning the area rug. So I did, I normally like to use my cordless Dyson, but since I'm doing a little bit of a deeper clean in this room, I went ahead and got my cord vacuum because this has better suction. It's the Dyson Animal, which is actually designed for homes with pets. And the only thing is that because my rug is so plush, 
it's really hard for me to vacuum normally so that's why I'm vacuuming like a crab and I'm walking backwards um, but this does a really good job of just getting really in there getting it super clean So since I already had the vacuum out, I went ahead and vacuumed the floors. And then I put everything back on the carpet so that I could deep clean the floors. I wanna make a sweat on me. But before I clean the floors, I went ahead and cleaned both of Sebastian's little play areas. Um, I used disinfecting wipes and then I go in with a like a damp cloth, which is clean water to wipe any residue off. Um, next, I clean the mirror. I did find a mirror cleaning solution that I really like. It's actually from Grove. I will leave the exact name down below, but it, it comes in a little capsule and you mix it yourself with some water and you put it in like a clean container. And it smells, it smells really good and it does a really good job of um, getting everything streak free. So now I can go ahead and start cleaning the floors. Um, since I already had my vacuum out, I went ahead and used that, but I was reminded of how much I love my cordless vacuum with no cords. And I don't know if you can tell, but Sebastian woke up from his nap. You could probably see his little head on the right side of the screen. He's in his activity center. So now I am going to steam the floors. I absolutely love the steamer. It gets my floors so clean with just water. So it's definitely saved money on my cleaning solution because I don't have to add anything else. I remember reading that it removes like 99% of bacteria with just steam. So it's incredible and you can feel it. When you walk around barefoot, the floors just feel so much cleaner than they do when you use solutions. Um, the only thing is I wish that they would come out with this and cordless version. So the living room is completely clean and I went back and put all the furniture back and as you can tell I rearranged the whole living room. Um, I really wanted to open up that corner for the Christmas tree and since um, Sebastian's toy bin is now condensed into this ottoman I was able to put the big chair back in that corner where all those windows are. I was able to move his little bouncer onto the rug area so I no longer need that little um, area rug that I used to keep it on. I also put the puppy's toys behind that chair so it's kind of hidden in that corner and then I put any like additional toys that Sebastian had like behind the sofa so it's hidden from plain sight. So while I was giving Sebastian his nighttime bath, my husband did start helping me with the kitchen. So he did the trash, he did all the dishes, and he started cleaning but then I was done and I came and um, picked it back up so he could get some work done. So yeah, you will see I don't have to do any dishes, I just did a quick little wipe me down wipe me down isn't that a song I did a quick wipe down of the counters and I also kind of wiped down the shelves I've been searching all day long try to be the perfect one you're holding me without no touch you don't need chase to hold me back Light it up, I can't speak your mind My world's slipping under, give me nothing back What is love? I can't tell you how I'm caught up in your thoughts tonight See, I've been building walls You break them down, break them down Oh, every time I go Brings back your love, back your
without no doubts But I need love to stay alive Light it up, I can't speak your mind My world's slipping on it, giving nothing back What is up, I can't tell you how So I usually just clean the, the backsplash with just like a damp cloth uh, but I had spaghetti sauce all over my max splash, so I gave that a good wipe down with the same spray that I use on my island. Then I moved on to the island and there wasn't much to do just to put everything back in its place and wash the cutting board, which we use this every single day. So it's nice to have it clean and ready to go in the mornings. I also just washed that swell bottle that was left out and I cleaned off the sink and that was pretty much all that was left to do in this area. And the coffee station, I also just kind of wiped it down and you guys can't see the part where I clean the second shelf. I always like to clean them at the same time. Um, but yeah, not much to do in this area either. I feel like the kitchen is not clean if I don't wipe down the appliances because they always accumulate fingerprints. And the last thing that's left to do is the floor. So I went ahead and just kind of dusted off the little area rug by the sink, which I do want to change this area rug out for Christmas and get like a really pretty Christmas one, but I haven't found one yet. So let me know if you guys have run into a really cute one recently. Um, my colors this year are traditional colors. So I am doing um, red, silver, and green, and probably a couple other accents. You guys will see in my next video that's going up next. And then I go in and steam mop the floors. I was going to keep going, you guys, but I was so tired by this point. Um, so I just went ahead and brought out my Christmas decorations and left everything ready for the next day so that I could go ahead and start putting everything up. I hope you guys get motivated to clean for the new season. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe before you go so you don't miss my next Decorate With Me video where I show you guys what my Christmas tree and my decorations are going to look like this year. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>